Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emesha from Everything Digital and here on this channel I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. So in today's video we are going to talk about the best way to deliver digital products to your final customers. Stay tuned until the end of this video because I will show you one way you should not deliver your products to your final customers because it will give you lots of lots of headaches as I went through that because I implemented that first in my business and now I changed completely over to this system. This is the best system that I found so far. But it has one drawback uh, and that would be uh, the fact that I use Adobe DC Pro for this. And this is the pro version of the Adobe Reader program. This is the best PDF reader in, in the whole entire universe, in my opinion at least, because I use Adobe products all day, every day. Um, if you're interested, I left the download link for Adobe Pro DC in the description box, so you can check it out for yourself. But that is what I will use today. It can be used for many things, but this is the task that I use it for the most. Without any further ado, I will show you how to add, how to deliver your digital products to your final customers, and at the end I will show you how not to do it. I will take you over to my computer screen and I will show you these two methods. So, let's go! So here we are in my Canva account. This is a Canva Pro account. You can easily do this with the free version, but I use the Pro version. I included a link in the description for the Canva Pro. It is an affiliate and if you decide to sign up to Canva with that link, I would be very grateful. Uh, you would support this channel and this way I can create more and more uh, helpful tutorials and videos for you. So thank you very much in advance if you choose to use my link for Canva Pro. But what you can see here is a basic A4, you can do US letter A5 half letter size pages, uh, it doesn't matter. This is just the base of our um, delivery method, as I want to say. So what I created here quickly is we have a header, we have a logo, I just used a, an element from Canva and I wrote download link for product name. Here is no, Here you would put the name of the digital product that you are selling. And I included a big bold text that click here. And I also added a pro image. Um, yes, it is a pro image. You can use any other images that you have on your computer. I just thought that this would match the colors. So what I'm going to do now is to download it as a PDF. I hit download. PDF standard is very good for us. We don't need the print uh, version. So PDF standard and we hit download. Now we are going to open this PDF page in Adobe Reader Pro DC and I will show you how you can add live links to your PDFs. If you know any other free methods that can do this uh, link insertion into PDFs, please leave a comment down below in the description because I would like to check it out. But I don't have any problems paying for Adobe Pro DC because I use it for other things as well, but this is the main thing that I use it for. Here I opened the PDF page in Adobe Pro DC and now we are going to add a live link to this PDF document. So for this we are going to use this edit PDF icon right here on the right hand side. Right here. This is the edit PDF. As you can see it says the name edit PDF. And the next step is to find this link button right here in the, on the top and click on it. And now we select the option add, edit, web or document link. And now here where it says click here, we are going to create a rectangle above that. Something like this. I like to do it a little bit bigger so that if people click next to it, it will still open up. So these are the options that we have as in right now. I like to add a red border so that it will even it will be even more visible and they will uh, figure out how to do it. Line thickness I like uh, thin or medium. Either way it's good. We will have an outline. And we have to and we have to select the option open a web page. And we hit next. And here you would have to enter the template link from 
Canva. As an example, I will show you how to do it with the template link for this particular page. Here we are back in Canva and we click on the share button and you select template link and copy link. We go back to Adobe and we paste the link there and hit OK. And if we close this window, you will see that a red rectangle appeared uh, around the click here part. From now on, the link is active and if I click on it, it will open up Canva once again. And as you can see, it here is the template that I created. If you would like to use this template, you can. I will leave a link down in the description and you can use this template for your own Etsy shop. And now let's talk about the method that I do not recommend, that I used for quite a long time, but now I am switching to this method. That would be to include your uh, template link in a text file or into a notes file. Yes, so you should not include it in a text file because uh, some clients download their... Uh, download the access link onto mobile devices and they will not figure it out that you have to copy paste that link into a web browser and it will automatically open up in the app if they have the Canva app installed on their phone. But uh, even though my text says, thank you for your order, in the next line I wrote, please copy paste this link into your browser and I have the link down in the next line. I cannot tell you how many times people told me that they click on it and it's not working. It says in black and white to copy paste it. So because this gave me too much of a headache and too much of a management, I switch, I am now switching to this system where they can just simply click on the interactive PDF and all and the template link will open up on mobile devices too. That would be for today's video. I really hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. See you in the next one. Bye bye!